so I know that those boxes say bulk, but it's actually not bulk. Those boxes are reused, but these ones here, these seven foot tall ones, they don't have the bulk writing on them. Hopefully you can hear me, it's kind of loud in here. You see, these are seven foot pallets. I am very high up on a ladder. <laughs> so, I'm just looking at the pallets, deciding which one I want, which one do I want? how tall these are. Anything good? So this is one that they're just breaking down for the storefront. This is Dylan. Say hi Dylan. Hey guys. <laughs> this is Brody. Say hey. hey these are the nice gentlemen that are assisting me in picking out my palette today. And this is Dylan. The one and only guy. Hey, he looks like he and Brody are breaking down a pallet already. Hey, Brody. Hey there. Ma'am. Okay, so this is one of the seven foot pallets that you guys have been cutting down because you're working on it, right? Yeah, because we are not seven foot tall. <laughs> <laughs> These are a little bit taller. Um, we get a different types of trucks in. Um, this one is actually kind of an Amazon mix. The Amazon, for whatever reason, seemed to be a little bit taller. I don't know why. It's probably just down to their operation and how they work. Um, we get both manifested and unmanifested loads. The Amazon stuff, at least this load, is an unmanifested load, which if you guys are not familiar with that, means that everything on the truck and in these boxes, completely random. I mean completely random, guys. We buy normally high count loads because we have a smaller square footage uh, retail space. And, you know, when you can take a bottle of pills or, you know, what, what was this? Protein uh, <laughs> kid formula. When you can sell that for the same price as a TV, you know, why would you store all that space? Um, so we like the high count loads um, for that reason and because, you know, there's just more to go through, guys. There's more surprises. And if this is your thing, then... <laughs> You guys are really in for it. Just like she said, it's, it's about, you know, seven foot tall. They don't fill it all the way to seven foot tall because obviously, you know, it becomes pretty heavy and, and weighty and it can actually burst at the seams. But but they do fill them up as, as much as they can. Um, easily five and a half feet tall. Yes, easily. Easily. Um, which if you guys are familiar with Bulk or some of those wholesaler sites, all of the stuff that we have got from those guys usually come in shorter pallets and she might be able to pan up and kind of show you one up top. Um, you might have even got one that looks like that. Now those say bulk on the side and sometimes that confuses people. Um, we actually buy from their parent company, um, which is why it says bulk on the side. They're just kind of using what they have. Um, but you know, that's more or less what we do guys. We buy manifested and unmanifested. We sell online and we sell retail. So. Um, we've actually started selling these pallets themselves to kind of get more into the retail space. And the way that works, if she'll probably pan around and show you. Oh yeah, all them we, uh, puppies over there. We pack it in, guys. Um, and basically, we just work from the outside going in. So we'll pull a pallet, start working on it, and then that way we can ensure to stock our, our store and our online side of things. Um, and then when people come in looking for wholesale stuff, they can just kind of get up on the ladder and point and we will pull that out and wrap it up and you know you can go through it if you want um, if you guys are new to this you know the more times you do this you realize that what's on top might be a good indication a great indication a bad indication of what's in there especially with these unmanifested pallets the one that looks best on top could be worst on bottom and vice versa so really it's just kind of a roll of the dice but we've had a lot of success with these guys um, what else can I tell you about it? We're trying to kind of pull this apart for you guys to kind of show you, you know, 
what this looks like. We've done some videos ourselves of uh, pulling this stuff right off the truck because that and is it's a big, big. That's concern big. of people's. That's <laughs> big. Rightfully so, because you know there are a lot of a lot of people who do what we do. We're not reinventing the wheel by any means. Um, but you know this this stuff is right off the truck, and uh, in that vein. You know, all of this stuff is going to be different. Um, so normally, when we tell, when we talk to people who are just getting into this kind of stuff, we tell them, you know, buy one or two so that you can get a better impression. Because we're more than willing to let you guys come in here and kind of dig through and get an impression that way. But you know, our return customers will tell you until you jump in both feet and get the stuff on the ground and or in your garage or whatever space <laughs> you might have, you really don't know. But I can kind of show you guys what we're seeing in this. Um, when we are marketing in our retail space, we market the stuff we get into two broad categories, name brand and essential. So name brand might be something like this, Organic Valley or Shift, Digestive Health. I mean, the essentials fall more into, let's see if I can find something quick. Maybe a phone case, so something more generic that you would use every day. Um, and we sell a lot of both, and, and these pallets are good for both guys. If you guys are selling online, this is definitely the type of pallet that we steer you guys to because it's a complete surprise. And a lot of people, I shouldn't say people, businesses don't buy like that. They, they stock and they restock, guys, so they have to know what's coming in. We're in a position where we go to those brick and mortar establishments and we buy this stuff not knowing what it is because no one else is willing and you know buying it dimes on the dollar pennies on the dollar whatever it is and then just passing that savings along to you guys because you know we want you to be successful we know this is a scary thing believe us we jumped in both feet and you know we weren't you guys too long ago we've only been doing this for about a year a year um, but we are a year we are fully in it now and and encourage you know people to do the same because it has been good for us guys and it has been great to meet people and and see the kinds of things come through our door and you wouldn't believe all the stuff that I have taken home that I never knew I needed. <laughs> <laughs> but that will happen to you. So And so you've never seen like two pallets that look identical. No. Yeah, no, no, identical? Absolutely not identical. They're now, different every time. By trend, you will get a truck in and you will see some of the stu same stuff throughout that mm -hmm. truck because in that one truck though. Exactly. Cuz like I have dealing... a feeling that we'll have we'll be finding more of these cuz we found a couple in this one and I found a few of these in the in the pallet I was going through. Yesterday. But those are all on the same truck. Yes, it's More all from the same truck. Now yeah. if you buy like we buy and you know we buy pretty pretty often, you might get the tail end of a clearance on one truck and then the start of it on the next truck. Mm -hmm. It really just depends on who we're liquidating from and how they're clearing their shelves. Um, now we usually buy from warehouses that are big enough, you know, Amazon comes to mind, that even if you bought in the same day, the stuff isn't gonna look the same because they're so big. Um, but you know, it's, it's nice, we like these. We like the variety in these and we also like the consistency in terms of the types of product, guys, because you know, it's, it's the extremes aren't good. You don't want all variety all the time and you don't want the same thing all the time. And we found that this is kind of a happy blend of both. We kind of know what to expect, and if I haven't mentioned it before, these specific pallets are what are called high count loads. Um, and I, think, I think I might have mentioned that with the, Possibly. With the piece yeah, count. I think but so. Yeah. <laughs> um, just to kind of revisit that because I'm seeing a lot, of, a lot of stuff, a lot of items. Um, and we like that because we like the surprises, we like the variety, but also that means that you know, if you find something that's good, there's a chance that you could find a few more of it. Brody's holding, what is, it, is that shampoo and conditioner? Sexy hair. So, oh, healthy, sexy hair. That's a good good example of something that we might call essential, something you're gonna use all the time. And like, I've already this found- This is deodorant, you know. Probably mm, half mm -hmm. a dozen of those. Yes. Yeah. So, and people really like that in the store because if something is really popular and, and we sell everything that we put out in our store for at least half off based on the barcode, lowest price we can find, you know, people will come in, they'll talk to their friends and we want people to come in and actually find the thing they're looking for. Doesn't always work because you can imagine when you get some really nice name <laughs> brand stuff that people rush in the door for it. But you know, that's kind of the name of the game that we play. Any other questions I can? Yeah, I want to pick out my palette. You can pick out your palette. <laughs> 
She's going to show you how it's done. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure going to start breaking it down. I've heard of all the all the YouTube followers that you will do a much better job <laughs> presenting to your fan base. But this kind of gives you a taste, guys. I'm sure she'll break hers down and, and really show you what she's getting. And, you know, like we said, just when you commit to a couple and you pull it in the garage and, and you start digging stuff out, you know, depending on how you sell, which is the main question we ask people, um, if you're selling online, these are great pallets. Um, a lot of a lot of first class stuff because it it has to be because it's mm -hmm. a high piece count. Right. Um, now you'll you'll find things that are heavier, of course, because they are, you know, they're not biased about what they're putting in this stuff, and that works to your favor and it works against you most of the time to your favor because it's a high piece count. But yeah, that's. Just kind of the general overview of what nice. we do. If you guys have any more questions, we're, we're happy to help. So I know that a question that people are going to ask is if you will ship pallets. And so <laughs> I want to make sure that we address that. Yes. Not yet. Not um, yet, you guys. Because we have a lot of, lot of turnover, guys. And we do have trucking companies that we work with. But right now, you know, we really want to establish ourselves as the, the lowest price you can get. And so pick up only for that reason. Only. Yeah. And, and that might be something that we bring in 2019. We've looked at the bar trucks and options like that but honestly guys you probably owe it to yourself just to come see the operation because we've had a lot of people try to uh, buy from us over the phone have it shipped and and for your interests as much as ours especially if you're a first-time buyer we want you to come see the stuff touch the stuff like get hands-on because you know it's it's a lot guys um, and we want you to have that opportunity to ask questions and We'll even tell the wrong people that, you know, maybe maybe this isn't for you. I mean, we want you guys to be successful. So um, come pay us a visit, only, even if it's only one, and then maybe down the line that we'll offer some more convenient shipping options. But right now it's pick up only because we want to see your beautiful faces. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to let you guys get back to work and go pick up my palette. All right. All right. <laughs> no, this is fine. They're small. Too. This one oh, is mine. Ready. I can just throw that stuff Holy. Away. Yeah. Um. Wow. Time to get busy. More? Really? They're selling for $50. They're selling for $50? What's selling for $50? <laughs> Those egg pans. No, they're not. Yep. Same, it's the same brand. Um. It, it, they don't have a wooden handle, but I think these are nicer because they have a wooden handle. Yeah, I would imagine. So on, on eBay? Or yeah. world. Yeah. You're giving things <laughs> out. I'll just take the world. There you go. Thanks. Yeah, we're pretty jelly of this. It's good. Yeah, that, the shark thing there. Did you say that they were that they were floaties? Was that what you were looking at? Because I see the shark things there. It looks like Shark Basics is the brand. Yeah, they have got there's, a lot of Shark Basics. Yeah, there. there's a uh, gaming mouse stuff here. You're just you don't like milk or hot fries? Holy cow! Cow. Ooh, it's a 10 deep conditioner that sells for like 15 bucks. Okay. Ted is the brand. Oh, yeah, it's a 10. So far, it's just I have found mostly shark, <laughs> the shark palace removers. Oh, cool. Ooh, yeah. blonde sexy hair. There you go. There we go. Some blonde <laughs> sexy hair.
don't think I've made a dent. Uh, keep going. Find a push. Man. Only took like four hours. Uh. Time to go home. Good morning, everybody. It's the next day. Um, even though I was super exhausted last night, my wonderful husband helped me unload the entire van. So, only a little under overwhelmed. Just, just a little bit overwhelmed. Just a hair. Oh, everything that's in this room. Everything in this room, aside from the jeans on the shelves, all came out of that pallet. Oh boy. So this box is completely full. That's a giant Home Depot box. We've got some stuff over here. Of course I've got bins stacked, so there's bins under here. Some there, 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 there. Hey, look at them over there. Uh, yeah, I'm over there. Um, uh, so, oh, and these, oh, no, wait, let's not forget about this stuff over here. Hey, look, we've got some bins over here, too. How many? Let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. So, I have twenty-one of these bins full none of them have lids on them they're all overflowing but there's 22 of those and then two of wait did i count those oh god dang it okay i did i did count them okay so 22 of these big sterilite bins and then two of these large home depot boxes man you can't even see the lighting's bad this one's better you can see these are the large Home Depot boxes. So two of those, 22 overflowing bins, made up that entire pallet. All right, let's chat. So even though the lighting is awful, I wanted to have just a little bit of a chat because I really can't like show everything I got in the pallet. So there are some things that I definitely wanted to make sure I talked to you about, things that I just learned from my first time getting a pallet like this. And instead of having it delivered, I actually loaded everything up and drove it home myself so I didn't have to worry about delivery. So first of all, um, wow, where to even begin? I, I grossly underestimated the quantity. So I'm used to getting the pallets from like bulk or via trading and seeing how big those pallets are and like what kind of count comes in those giant Gaylords. This was unlike anything I have ever seen before. Um, I'm used to pallets that have maybe four or 500 items and so that's what I was kind of expecting. Even when Dylan told me, no, these are seven foot pallets, I was like, oh, okay, so what's that gonna be, a couple hundred more items, you know? Uh, I, I, I should have listened to him. <laughs> he tried to tell me how much more stuff it was gonna be and I was just kinda like, yeah, okay, we got this. I struggled to get everything home in the van. So, the seven foot Gaylord that was on the pallet had approximately 1,200 items in it. Now, I don't I don't have an exact count by count. I did not count. I don't have that kind of time nor the desire to count. Uh, uh, but he told me that the entire semi truck, which they, they buy by the semi, uh, they had 28 pallets from Amazon. It was a lot. Um, he had said that the count range via Amazon was between 1,000 and 1,400 items per pallet. So let's just say an average of 1,200 items across the board. So about 1,200 items is what I dealt with. Um, I ended up only bringing 10 bins because 10 bins I know fits in the back of my van with all of the seats laid down. 
Uh, and I ended up needing to use boxes that they had on hand. And then everything else was just kind of like thrown on top. It was just a disaster. I mean, look at that. I ended up with 22 of these bins. So more than double what I initially thought. So my cost of goods was approximately 75 cents per item, which was much better than I expected. And again, 75 cents is my estimate, counting what I considered to be, um, I don't wanna say trash because it's not trash, uh, counting the items that were maybe open, like empty boxes or packages that were ripped open. Like I've got some lollipop sticks around here somewhere. There was a couple of packages of lollipop sticks that were busted open. Uh, maybe some Halloween stuff that I didn't want to deal with. So I basically gave it to them or I, I just trashed it if it was opened. Like the spider webs and stuff, like some of those bags were opened. So I just threw those in the trash. But then there was like other holiday stuff that I just gave back to them uh, because they actually had Gaylords full of Christmas stuff that they were holding in the back. So I just like gave them because I didn't want to hold Christmas stuff. So I just like gave them Christmas stuff, Halloween stuff that I didn't want to keep for the next, you know, nine months. Um, so taking all of that into account, those, those are kind of like my losses or whatever. It ended up, I calculated it roughly, roughly calculated. It came out to about 75 cents an item after all of the, the stuff that I discarded. Uh, so 75 cents an item. Uh, you can't really, you can't really beat that. You know, 75 cents. Like here, I just pulled out a couple of things. I, I cannot show everything, obviously. I mean, 1,200 items, I can't show that. Um, but here just to give you an example, here's like a box of draft. It's brand new. It's the, the powdered laundry detergent. Uh, these things, this is at least $10. I'm not exactly sure how much draft is selling for, but it's at least $10. I paid 75 cents. Uh, here's a box of slim fast bars, 75 cents. Here is a smart screen protector for your iPhone six, seven and eight plus 75 cent cost. This is like a, a funny, happy 50th birthday cup. Still sealed in the package, 75 cents for that. Here's a book, Art from the Ashes, paperback, 75 cents. Neon lightning bolt, 75 cents. Pretty bed runner, 75 cents. Which brings me to my next point. The entire palette was completely unmanifested. Now, it wasn't unmanifested because he didn't tell me what was in it. It was unmanifested because that's the way they bought it. That's the way they get such an inexpensive price for the entire semi-truck load and they're able to pass the savings on to everybody else. It's because everything is unmanifested. There was such a cluster of items in this palette, I had no idea. Like, they tried to explain to me how random the palette was gonna be. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is another lesson. Listen to what they say, because they're probably right. <laughs> don't th don't assume that you know what's gonna be in there, because just don't. Uh, like I said, everything. There's food in there. There was, th I have some packages of Jello shot kits in here somewhere. There's housewares, there was, there was electronics. There was just, books there was everything there's so much stuff so uh and in that same sense no two palettes were alike you know while i was there breaking down this palette i saw the guys going through their own palettes because they were breaking stuff down for their online store and their storefront and their palettes were completely different from mine like i saw like a few things that were similar because obviously they were all on the same truck they all came from amazon uh I wanna say like 85% of it was totally different. I, it was things that I had not seen in my palette. I'm like, whoa, what is that? What did you get? So one palette is its own palette. There is nothing identical about the palette next to it, even when it's on the same truck. So don't expect to get the same palette twice. There might be some similar variances, but you will not get two palettes that look identical. I saw that firsthand. You also cannot tell what's going to be in a palette by looking at the top. I climbed up on a ladder and looked over a sea of, op of uh, open palette tops and I had no idea what was going to be in any of the palettes. You just don't know. Um, 
something else that I also like and appreciate about the way they are doing palette sales is that yes, they are online sellers. Yes, they have a storefront, but they do not go through the palette before you get to buy it. Uh, that was one of the things that I had talked to them about that I was really worried about was, you know, well, I know you have a storefront. I know you have an online store, which they're a pretty big operation in that sense. They've got an online store, a storefront, and they're starting to get into letting people buy palettes direct from them. Uh, my concern was that they were going to go through the palettes, take out the good stuff, and then sell what was left. But that was not the case. They, I saw the entire operation, okay? There is no way for them to do that. They don't have the room to do that, the resources to do that, nor the want to do that. They don't, they're not looking to rip somebody off by taking out all the good stuff and sell whatever's left. They're really, really good people, really good people. Um, and they have no way to like pull out every single palette, pick out the good stuff and then put everything else back. There's just no way they can do that. They go one palette at a time because that's the way they do it. So if you were to buy a palette from them direct, you would be getting a palette completely untouched. And so when he told me that, I got even more excited because the price was good. Uh, I knew it was gonna be a giant palette. I knew it was gonna keep me busy for a long time. And I knew that I was gonna be the only person to go through that palette. So that was awesome. So if you're feeling brave enough to buy a palette and you live in the Midwest, I highly recommend going and seeing Dylan at Buy It Now Bargains right now it's pickup only. Uh, it is only pickup. Uh, they're not doing any sort of shipping yet, yet. They were telling me that there is the possibility of 2019 doing other things like smaller lots or shipping pallets that is definitely on their radar for the future. But for right now, it's local pickup only. They are located in Topeka. So if you are within a driving distance to Topeka, I highly recommend checking them out because This is unbelievable. <laughs> this is unbelievable. I just, the last thing I wanted to talk about before I let you guys go, because obviously I got a lot of work to do. I wanted to talk about my plans for breaking this down because I know a lot of you are really interested in getting into this. Um, to me, this is more intimidating than clothing is just because of the wide range of items that's in there. It's not all clothing that can be organized by like shirts, dresses, pants, all of that. This is a whole bunch of random retail stuff. So my plan for breaking it down, and if you have any tips for me, feel free to put it down in the comments. But I, where my logic is with dealing with all of this is my logic is telling me to separate eBay stuff from Amazon stuff. So not everything, just because everything came from Amazon doesn't mean I'm going to be able to sell everything on Amazon. Things could be restricted. Things could be opened or damaged. Um, things just might do better on eBay. So I'm thinking how I'm going to handle this is I'm going to separate everything from Amazon and eBay because I feel like if I just start separating everything based on type, first of all, I don't have the room for it. You can see I'm like busting at the seams here. I don't have room to like spread out and organize 1200 items. So I'm thinking I'm going to start just by pulling everything that can go to Amazon uh, and then separate all the stuff for eBay. Because then if I can find everything that is Amazon ready and I can send it into FBA, I can get all of that stuff pulled out put into the Amazon system and sent into FBA. So that will actually give me more room. I won't have to maneuver around as much stuff. And then I'll be left with everything that's going on eBay. I'll have the room to organize it, uh, come up with a game plan with that. So that's gonna be my very first step. I know that that's gonna be a question a lot of people ask me is like, where do you start? That's where I'm going to start. I'm just going to separate the stuff that's gonna sell on Amazon and the stuff that's gonna sell on eBay. But if you have any tips on breaking it down even further than that, feel free to put it down in the comments below. But anyways, I'm gonna go get started on all this. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so that I know. If you have questions or comments, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. Feel free to subscribe for more content and don't forget to check the video description for useful links. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you with my next video. Bye.